Hi, for today's teardown, a beautiful piece of aircraft equipment, the display from the modernized Nimrod cockpit. So we have here a color LCD display, which is uh, normally installed this way in the cockpit. So it seems to be a square display of a little bit more than uh, 20 centimeters. I am not sure if there is a touch function in here, if it is just a protective glass we have here. And it is actually a super strong construction made apparently of a stack of machined aluminium modules. So do not mind the missing screws and the little numbers. Given the amount of screws, I have already prepared a little bit the disassembly by removing some of the screws to save some time. So here is what it looks like. So the front, nothing particular except uh, apparently maybe light sensors in here, Allen screws to secure it, which are, excuse me for the focus, uh, metric. And the case made of uh, apparently three compartments. On the back, a big fan, two connectors. So this one is apparently the main one with a number of contacts. And this one has only three uh, little coax contacts, so maybe they are for the actual. Uh, video signal input in RGB or something like this. Okay, so we have a number of access panels on this thing. I will start with the two most obvious ones and start with this one which is apparently a field replaceable item because we don't have Torx Uh, one thing I did forget, what is this device? It is the Thales LCD 66N serial number here made on the 31 of July of 2003, so 70 years old. And you have here the cage code which uh, is a military uh, provider code. Beginning with the uh, F, it means it was made in France. Okay, so I was busy about this. Top access panel. All the screws are Torx except here, so it looks like this would be a field replacement item. What do we have in here? So I wonder if we will have a lot of electronics in this thing because usually LCD displays do not have a lot. Just one board with a chip that does everything. But given the apparent quality of construction and the weight, I am quite interested to see what we will have. It will work better if I remove all the screws by the way. So what do ah, okay, so this module does lift off, revealing a little bit of a inside, apparently a light diffuser parts here, because this module is a whole bunch of cold cathode fluorescent tubes. Look at this, a lot of them with a special uh, diffuser lens here, uh, made by Thales. Nineteen tubes, or maybe even more, yes, because we have one here and one here, so 21 tubes connected with uh, this connector here. There is a, even a little PCB assembly in here. So I am not sure if we have uh, any extra electronics or if it's just to distribute the signals, well, the power to the tubes. 
but what I see, I see what seems to be a little fine cracks. So I am not too sure of what we have in here. Apparently, uh, you can see uh, nylon or plastic screws to secure the, this cover. So already it is a very good sign of uh, impressive quality in this device. You can notice this uh, top piece here is uh, actually uh, machined from a solid bl block of aluminium. You can see the tool marks, so just this part already is super complicated. So I am really interested to find out what we will have. Okay, it is all potted for your protection. So very serious construction, obviously. Ah, I was not expecting this. We actually have electronics in here. So it might be a brightness controller, something like this. It is not possible to read the IC numbers because of the conformal cutting, but I see a Philips logo. And you can see uh, insulation material all over the place and very nice construction. Here also they did insulate the back of this connector. So we might have uh, some control uh, signals and then the main supply and I believe this uh, ICs with switch must be some kind of high voltage uh, switches or something like this to switch maybe in and out this uh, resistor networks and uh, do uh, dimming control and you can see they did cover some of the tracks here with uh, silicone. So really, really impressive already this part. So I will put this back together and we will go to the next access panel. So the next obvious uh, field, well, field access panel is this one. So we will find out what we have here. Uh, compartment number one for my screws. And it is necessary to undo it anyways because there is a screw here blocked by this panel. And we have apparently one circuit board. And I see already a second circuit board in here. And you know what? Wow. Wow. I was not expecting this, guys. Because actually, this circuit board seems a little bit more complicated than a simple LCD controller. Look at this. Quite insane. First look at this connector like in uh, big servers, backplanes. So already very nice quality and they are not soldered, they are press fit here. I do not know how it fits on camera, but there is no solder in these holes. So we have in here uh, two Altera chips, uh, including here an Altera Max of this flav size flavor. Another big ceramic angle I see here. Oops. Sorry. And uh, Actually, there is the F911, the cage number, so it is a Thales uh, custom product or custom design chip, it seems. We have what seems to be RAM here. Weird long ICs here with uh, stickers, so probably some kind of firmware. And this might be for uh, sextant avionic, which is another French brand of uh, aircraft equipment. There is, it seems, one serial number in here. Nothing on the other side except uh, quality stamp. TK reminds me the uh, Soviet OTK quality stamps. Quite fun. And this uh, 
pretty fancy uh, Altera on this one. And I must not forget this huge gold band crystal oscillator. So already a very good PCB, but I see, you know what? There is more inside. So uh, what to do next? I believe we will believe we will go to these panels first. So we will see them, and maybe I can reinstall them directly because it seems there is not much uh, to see in this front part. I do not know, in fact. I will undo each one of them, at least. So here we have, yes, as expected, your uh, uh, LCD panel controllers on the uh, chips on the flex circuit board. Your uh, row and column decoders. The two little devices in the front, maybe light sensors, are soldered here. And this uh, area seems uh, quite uh, generic uh, LCD uh, panel stuff. But there is still more Altera here. So I'm really serious about the processing power in this thing. Uh, again, silicon here on these connectors. Quite uh, regular uh, connectors here with uh, flex links, so not a uh, big uh, surprise in this compartment. Uh, it is pretty much what I did expect. You can see how it is uh, it's very seriously mounted, by the way, in the frame here. So all this is a solid piece of aluminium. I see here one more circuit board which seems to be power supply related. And uh, here, yes, you have the connector to the backlight, and you can see some kind of a built-in heat sink to uh, evacuate the heat of the backlight. Okay, I believe the other side here will be pretty much the same, but I will check anyways. I'm really curious. See, so do, what do we have in here? Yes, it is the same except we have some uh, wires running here, so nothing special. And here, the last cover for from around the display. So I am not sure of how you will take apart uh, completely the display from the it seems there is a part glued on the front here, but I do not want to disturb it because of a focus obviously and because uh, it is a very nice uh, display item and I want to keep it uh, in the best condition possible. Will the focus uh, collaborate with me today please? Okay so more electronics here actually quite impressive as you can see we have more uh, Altera stuff more shipped, uh, shipped on uh, flex. This wire running all around, I don't know what it is for. Seems are uh, maybe some kind of grounding. It seems to be connected here into the front. Yes, yeah, so I not uh, obviously not take apart uh, this area any further because it seems to be quite uh, delicate. And there is just a light diffuser on the panel itself, obviously. Could be nice to see who made this panel, but it seems quite delicate, and we have already a lot of other stuff to look at. So I will reinstall these three covers and we will open the main compartments. Okay, I'm back. I will try to separate this assembly here. So far I am quite happy with this device because really it is the kind of over expensive and over engineered stuff I like. As you can see, really, really impressive quality. Nothing to complain about. 
and seems a lot more complicated than uh, regular LCD display. So what do we have in here? I believe this yes, will pop right out. So we have a back uh, assembly here and we have electronics here. Okay, so already more electronics than expected, a lot more, because you can see here, obviously, we have more stuff. Look at this, one over of this big golden connectors, and I did already prepare here some of the back screws, because it looks like we have yet more electronics in this area. So it is really, really insane, this thing. I was not, really not expecting so much electronics in this display. Ah, what do we have in here? Okay. Look at this. Look at the quality, guys. So we have here uh, the mainly of uh, connections from the connectors, a lot of uh, filters and uh, capacitors and stuff going on on the both, both sides, but no uh, major parts seems to be all the discrete components. And here you have the free coax coming from the plug. Yes, they are really coax with uh, capacitors in the path you can see, so uh, probably for high frequency signals. Connector here to the fan, big multi-layer ceramic capacitors, uh, and uh, some uh, coils here apparently are inductors in this area. Shielding around this connector here I can see, so quite uh, impressive stuff. Uh, I do not know where the power supply is in this thing. And, uh, any of the power supply requirements. The only obvious thing is the ground, obviously. Look at this big ground plate. Plain, but really uh, quite a lot of signals going in this, so overly complicated. A very nice uh, fan here, as you can see. With this access panel to the bearing, probably, and it is still perfectly silent, so uh, really a nice thing. So it is not all because obviously we have a big circuit board here with what seems to be power supply related stuff. I believe I will need a small tool, so I will undo this one. This time you have two washers on the screws, one copper one and one steel one. So where are we going? I do not know. Looks like this one must go also. We have a bot to bot connector here. We have <coughs> one screw here. Apparently, no, not this one, not this one. There is a big device here on the back. This one. And we have here what seems to be a heat sink with a number of power devices the two long screws which are by the way captive screws securing the heat sink to the case ok and here we are interesting so we have this obviously a lot of power supply related stuff ITRI converters, 
uh, big Nishikan electric lithic capacitors here. You can see how they are secured with this uh, silicon. Everything in here is secured with silicon. A bunch of uh, power transistors here are regulators with uh, air packs, temperature sensor, coils, nice. Uh, Uh, ceramic AC here, one probably main power supply bus going here to this PCB. And what we have this unit, I would like to check out because it seems to be quite fancy with uh, its sink like so. I hope it is not glued in place. I see some optocouplers here, so really a nice power supply converter, but retro engineering this thing should be quite crazy, in particular because it is a multi-layer PCB, and we have no information whatsoever because, because it is what it is. Okay. There is maybe a sticker here on the side, but it is completely impossible to reach it, so we will not know what is this big device, probably a C to DC converter. So really an impressive uh, PCB here, but it is not all. So I will reinstall this one and we will open the main and last compartment here. And you will see it will be quite nice. Oh, by the way, two things before I forget. Here at the bottom we have what seems to be the main motherboard interconnecting everything together. And it is actually a pretty serious thickness PCB. Uh, let me measure it real quick. The other ones are quite regular, but this one is 3 millimeters, so almost the double of a regular PCB. So quite uh, thick already and always the same kind of connectors without the solders. And also a big thanks to the British taxpayers who did actually fund in the early 2000, 99.5% of the cost of this thing. And let me purchase it for only 50 British pounds which is actually probably a very tiny fraction of the actual price of this device because you can see how complicated this assembly, aluminium assembly here is, it is just insane this thing, look at this, the machining, it is just beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we are left with one last module combination that should allow us to see the remaining of hidden electronics, I believe. I hope at least. So we are here at the screws of compartment number seven. Okay. So it should disconnect. Hopefully, in the same way the other ones did, yes. Here is the compartment of the circuit board I did remove and will reinstall right now for you. So the circuit board was installed this way, in this, with all this rails on the side. Pretty uh, strong uh, securing of the board, of the board by the way. Okay, and you can see here this massive connector going to the card you did see for one second. This massive one with a whole load of Altera stuff again. This giant video I see VGA 21 RSL. It is this thing. 4 cm side, quite insane. 
euh, free Altera Max EPM 9 free Q0. So probably some uh, serious processing power in here. An armada here of uh, quartz oscillator. On the whole bunch of other stuff. I do not know this uh, logo by the way. It is the first time I see it. Okay, and we have yet more one layer of circuit board inside. But for this, I need to disconnect first here this connector going to apparently grounding purpose or something like this. Not sure what it is. We have the connectors to the flex links to the display. So there are regular uh, flat flex connectors here, nothing in particular. It seems the contacts are not even uh, well plated, so they are uh, uh, sourced from regular parts. Suppliers, it seems, not uh, specific uh, military quality. Well, not sure, but it seems. And oh, now I can do the undo, more exactly, the numerous screws that are securing this particular board because we have yet more stuff behind. So really it is a big surprise. I was really not expecting uh, such an amount of uh, electronics inside. You can see the very nice uh, gold plating of this PCB by the way. And it is totally worth the expense when you get uh, stuff of this quality even if I had uh, actually a problem with this purchase because after one month the seller did still not send the parcel. It looks like he did just forget to send the parcel. I had to open eBay claim and then magically I got a UPS shipping number. Okay, so what do we have in here? More uh, board to board connectors. This one are uh, less expensive. We have more stuff at the back of this PCB. I was not expecting this really. Look at this. I will probably take photos of this for my Flickr account before I uh, yes before I uh, reassemble the thing because it is quite amazing. Here for some reason they did use a different flavor of uh, Allen screws. They are black here, and we have what seems to be free high power high voltage. Uh, Generators here, more uh, controller ICs, so really, really amazing. And uh, not much on the other side of this PCB except the flat face connecting to this uh, connector for the backlight. So, uh, really a nice uh, surprise. I was not expecting. Uh, so many stuff in here, really quite uh, amazing this thing. There are connectors here that are not used probably for programming purpose. Yes, there are three of them, so maybe it is for each one of these devices. So why do you need uh, so many uh, grunt computing power in uh, one display? And so many parts, oh, look at this. Here we have, can you see it? A tiny bulge wire. And this super expensive looking board. So really, really nice, uh, nice thing. I was not expecting such a over expensive device. Well, design for one display. It is just completely amazing. Ok, uh, I will put this uh, back together after I do some uh, photos of the circuit boards because I really, really 
They are nice. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.